Hi guys, so today's video is gonna be slightly different from my other videos. It's my latest obsession, which is polymer clay. I've been doing polymer clay for about a month now, so I've been really crazy about crafting lately. But don't worry, uh, I'll do some other beauty product review kind of videos too, if I feel like it. It's my channel, so I can do whatever I want. Anyway, so let's get started. So all the creations that I'm showing you today or now is actually my own creations I mean my own ideas and stuff I do uh, have inspirations from pictures and etc so if there's some of the stuff that I made is actually um, almost the same with other youtubers it's just purely coincidence because uh, all the other stuff that I get inspirations or I do based on the tutorial from the YouTube I didn't show you guys so so this is the cupcake of um, Cookie Monster with a cookie in his mouth. I really love the hair texture I do it. It kind of really takes lots of times, and it's a fun charms and it's on a cupcake. Really cute. And this is a cow, and the clay is actually glow in the dark. And some of my friends say it looks like a pig, <laughs> which. I it's understandable, but it's really cute. I loved it. And um, I don't know what is this. Um, just some random pictures that I found online, which is really cute. So I just decided to make one. Oh, I love making monster. This is a one eye monster with the hair details. I really love the hair details, even though they are really, really tedious to do. And I do make some sheep. I think there's a lot of YouTubers that make sheep, but what the hell. I love it. It's cute. Mm, I didn't make a lot of other stuff, but I don't think they're worth showing. <laughs> so just showing some of the stuff that I actually loved. I just made this yesterday. It's really cute and tiny. And I actually got inspiration from a decodan. It's really, really tiny, actually. And I did make some chibi, and it got burnt, so don't mind that. It's a green hair chibi girl with kind of a like donut shape um, tie hair. I just tied his hair with a hairband. Really, really cute. And a big baby. <laughs> My boyfriend says that it's kind of weird with a ginger kind of Asian baby. I don't know, ginger Asian, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, I love this. It's really, really cute too. I hope this video is not going to be really long. Anyway, I'm going to fast forward it. And this is a blue hair girl, which I actually braided her hair and yeah, it got burnt. So just take it as a highlight. And I put it high, um, kind of like braid her hair and sort of like make, um, I would say sort of like um, a highlighting with blue and pink. I like the highlight effect. Yeah, so it's really cute with a love shaped shirt. Oh, I cannot, I think a lot of people have done Domokun but I love love Domokun and the teeth is a pain in the ass to make. Can I say ass? Anyway, yeah. So and this is what I just made yesterday. It's really cute. It's kind of like chocolatey. It's, can anyone tell me what color is this? I mean I know it's mint color but I haven't found any brand with this color because I've been mixing lime and white to get this color and so I was thinking might as well just buy it. Um. And another chibi. Oops, I love my chibi. I think I haven't showed you this blonde girl. Really cute with a hairband and a flower here. But I use kind of translucent. I shouldn't use translucent because you can't really see it well. And it has all this curly hair. Really cute. I like it. It's one of my first chibi that I made yesterday. I just made all this stuff yesterday actually. Oh, those fun charms I make it. Oh, a few weeks ago. But anyway, and I kind of make a lot of Hello Kitty yesterday. It's just so cute that I just decided to make kind of like all colors, I guess. I have seven of them here. They are really, really cute. And, um, and a yellow one. They have a bowl on it. Yep. And, yep. I just put them there here and I will just show you guys. So cute. 
and can make a, like a keychain or phone charm because I did put a eye pin on it and I have a pig oh look at this eye I love the pig it's really cute I love making pig it's one of my favorite thing to do besides bow I love love making bow I think everything looks cute with bow um yep and I love to make rings with bow like yep see how easy it's kind of like so cheap and so easy to do and it's fun to do I just really think everyone should start kind of do crafting if you guys are free yeah yeah the reasons why I cut my nails if you guys kind of like remember I have a lot of nails videos not a lot just one but anyway I kind of cut my nails because uh, I'm starting to do crafting and school I'm in food science and stuff so I don't grow nails anymore and now summer I know I can grow nails but I'm not growing anymore because I'm doing craft and it's, it's kind of dirty when I'm touching clay and stuff yeah so this is the bow that I have I love bow like I said just now and this is the anklet that I make with a little pole up there it's really cute I love it so I think at the end of the picture I'm gonna show myself wearing this see how you can make it as a necklace it's really cute with a white blouse especially and I'm gonna show you what I make besides that I love flowers I love making flowers I basically love making things that can you can wear like jewelry stuff I have another pink color it's really easy to make you don't even need um, tools I can just do this freehand I mean, uh, I see a lot of YouTube videos which actually shows like you have to cut it. I don't cut it, I just press the clay and just do it. So I just do it freehand. It's much easier in my opinion. And what else to show you guys? Oh yeah, I like this. I'm making this crazy kind of, I'm not sure if you can see. It's kind of a Victorian vintage style kind of like pendant and you can wear this as a necklace I make it as a necklace see how cute it is it's really easy to make I'm thinking to do some tutorial on showing you guys how to make all this stuff I swear it's really really easy I'm one of the most not creative person <laughs> so if I can do it I'm sure a lot of people can do it and it's a love shape and again really simple really easy doesn't take five minutes to do it's really cute and and I did make a earring which is really long because I have long hair so yeah it's really it's really pretty I think in my, I love gold in general but if you like silver you can buy some see it's really easy to do I think I can do I make this in two minutes so if any one of you is interested just put a comment below and I'll show you guys how to do this yeah it's really if you have shorter hair, just pick the chain shorter, yeah. And what else do I want to show you guys? And yeah, I made a mukumogani, kind of like a details, but it got burnt so horribly. It was so pretty. I feel so sad that it got burnt. Oh, it's okay. See how, okay here, I gotta close this. See how the design, you make a really, really cute pendant or ring, I don't know. So yeah, that's all for today and I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you have any comment, just put it below and I'll reply to you guys as soon as possible. And please be really gentle with the comment because it's my first time doing crafting and I'm just starting this in a month. So please bear with me if my craft is not as good. Uh, if you guys would like to know how I make this stuff, I can actually do a video. Just put a comment below and hopefully I can make a video showing us a tutorial or something like that. So okay, that's all for today and bye. See you guys soon and hope you guys have a great day. Oh yeah, before I forget, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. To my mommy, to my godmom and all the mothers in the world and a very happy Mother's Day. Bye.